Assalamu alaikum. My name is Daria. I'm 15 years old. I go to the SEAL school and I am British Muslim. Family for me doesn't have to be blood related. Like, for example, my friends at school, I consider them family because they love me, they respect me, and they look after me. And I do the same for them. And that's why I consider family. Like, for my mum as well, I consider her family and my sisters because they love me, they respect me, and they look after me as well. And I can see it through their actions as well. And I do the same thing for them. And that's why I consider family. For me, the right path is someone that respects others and especially their parents. Um, someone for Muslims, someone that prays, um, gives to charity, loves one another, respects one another. Like, I, I, I tend to advise you, don't I, Daria? Yeah, my mum advises me to do my homework, to respect others, she reminds me, she tells me the things that I do wrong, she tells me, she makes me rethink the things I've done and um, I think that's really important because it helps me stay on the right path. And I tend to advise you that, that when you're going out, it's very important to wear each other properly. Yeah. Dress properly. The clothing has to be appropriate, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And I encourage you to pray and pray on time. Yeah. Don't I? Yeah. Always. <laughs> yeah. I think it's very important that you dress properly, you respect your mum, yeah, because God says that heaven is under your mum's feet. I always remind you of that. That's very important. You get more blessing as well. My mum's my inspiration because. If you see or think about what she's gone through and how strong she stayed, some people would still stay in that mindset. Some people wouldn't go further. Some people wouldn't push themselves. Some people would stay depressed. But my mum, she stayed very, very determined. And I feel that I feel like I need to stand, like, stay up to that level and tell her and show her in the future that all she's been through wasn't worth nothing. I do feel equal to others, but it depends where I am. For example, in London, when there's more Muslims around, I do feel equal and I do feel comfortable. But for like wherever, where I live in Hertfordshire, I don't feel as equal because there are little comments there and there about me wearing my headscarf or is, about Islam, about, about race. And there are like, there are the little, little qu stupid questions like, are you bold or, do you shower in your headscarf? There's little questions like that that just irritate me. I don't feel comfortable. And um, it just it just depends where I am, really. At the age of 11, I started wearing my headscarf. At first, I didn't really want to because none of my friends were wearing hijab. But then after a while, I kind of got used to it and I started liking and enjoying wearing my headscarf because it makes me feel like I've grown up and you know I'm ready to learn more about Islam. The hijab is more of a symbol to me personally. It makes me feel closer to Allah and it makes me feel like I'm um, growing up and I'm showing everyone that I believe in Allah and I'm a Muslim. Especially where I live, the hijab makes me feel different and um, the challenges that I face is asking when people ask me questions about the hijab and there's some, some little silly questions that I can't really answer and it's just, it makes me feel uncomfortable and insecure, in where I, especially where I live. Um, in society, it depends where I am specifically, uh, especially where I live, people stare at me whilst driving in the cars, whenever I'm walking past people, they look at me strange. And like whenever I walk into shops, they, some people just look at me and I know that they're thinking um, something to do with uh, me being a Muslim or they're thinking something bad about me. And it just makes me feel very uncomfortable. I pray five times a day and I do try my best to pray on time. But going to school, it, that makes it very, very difficult because I miss like two, three prayers and then I have to go home and pray them back to back. 
and it, sometimes it becomes difficult because then you have to do schoolwork, you have to go outside and it kind of slows you down a bit. After I pray, I kind of feel refreshed and I feel like a weight has been lifted off and I feel really good after praying. I do look forward to the month of Ramadan because it's very special because a lot of Muslims come together and eat together and pray together and we open our fast together and I do look forward to it because it kind of brings a lot of Muslims together. Ramadan is important to me because it gives me a chance to get closer to Allah, get closer to my family, make dua, pray, fast and um, read the Quran with my family and it's just a chance to understand uh, and talk more to my family. I spent 18 hours fasting. Me and my family, we break our fast together and we do a lot of dua and read the Quran together. I feel like Ramadan does bring me closer to God because I feel like I'm doing another thing that Allah has said we should do and I feel like I would please Allah by, by fasting, by putting myself in, the other, in other people's shoes. And it helps me understand that other, whenever I open my fast, other other children and other people can't, and it makes me feel like it makes me feel privileged, and it opens my eyes a bit. And I feel like that is another message that Allah tries to show other people. Ramadan encourages me to become close to Allah, make more dua, get close to my family. Also, it also inspires me to give money to charity. My mom does also encourage me to put at least one p aside every single day for charity. The practices which are praying more, visiting the mosque more often, reading Quran every single day. And um, that those things, those good habits, they kind of lessen after Ramadan because it's less, um, it's less in demand, I feel. And, and it, it kind of brings me out of practice, but it's very, very good to keep it up. And that's what I should try and do more often. I feel like it's a very good strength of mine that I don't want to, to open my fast in school because my friends are eating in front of me. And I feel like that is really, really good. It's like, it's like a determination to get to the end of the day. Um, and those, those good habits, they kind of tend to become less demanding for me after Ramadan, because I feel like it's just in less demand. So I just do it less and less and less, and it's harder to keep the habits up, but I should try, do my, try and do my best to keep it up. to me means peace and happiness. The best thing about being in Britain and being a Muslim is that there's a wide diversity of different cultures here. You get to learn about different cultures and you get to learn to respect and be tolerant towards others. The best thing about being a Muslim is that how everyone's really kind and respectful to each other and there's just, there's just a sense of togetherness. I am very proud to be a British Muslim because, um, because of the togetherness and the way that the community learns about different cultures. <laughs>